In this tutorial, we're going to make a uh, unique image. Look how fun this image is. Um, just taking out half the face gives a trickery on the photo looking sideways and forward. Quite unique. So the, the right nose and lips and things uh, does a better job of this. Here's another one. Isn't that fun? So we're going to try to mimic that and show you a way to, to do it just here. I'm going to use Photoshop, of course, and then I'm going to open up a picture of the very pretty Taylor Swift. So what I'm going to do is, just to make it easy here, just a quick way to start this little project, and then you can kind of go from your own way of doing it. Have a nice photo looking straight on at the camera. White works best in the background and make a new layer. So you've got just a blank layer. Then take your paintbrush with white as your foreground. Okay, 100% strength. Now to make bigger brushes we use our bracket keys which will make bigger and smaller brushes. So make a nice really small kind of brush about that size. I guess we'll try that first. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow the uh, contour to try to make a, a, a side view um, of her face here. Now using her other nostril doesn't really work so I'm gonna to have to come way in here. Well I'll just show you. Now I'm painting on this layer. I'm not gonna paint on the original photo. That's important. So I'm just gonna come down and just start uh, trying to paint the side of a, a head. here. So just kind of come down with the paintbrush, make a nose, then use some lips. And then chin, and then kind of cut it back like that. And then just make a bigger brush with your bracket keys, and then paint in this side with white. Just fill it right in. Okay. You just kind of paint it here. A bigger brush even paints quicker. And you start to get the effect that I'm going to talk about. Now you can paint kind of back here a little bit if you'd like to make a bigger forehead. But just try to get close you can here. If you make a mistake, just hit uh, Command Z or Control Z. And then just make a forehead. Kind of cut in on the nose here. I might take the nostril out there, but so we're, we're starting to get that same effect. And, and accentuate the lips like that. Kind of gives you a fun look there. And then you can kind of create the nose that you want to, cutting back on that forehead. And again, I think taking her nostril out might look better. And I've really taken her forehead back out a little bit too much, so pretty flat. Now, a better way to do that, before I even start, I'm going to go back in time. So I'm holding down Command, Option Z, or Control Alt Z on a PC. Let me go back one more step. Yep. Now, before I even start, it's probably best that I make a mask. So what I'll do is not, I'll, I'll just throw this one away here. I don't need this layer here. On this original photo, okay, make a layer mask. Now, to get rid of, let me go back even a little bit further here. Before this was a photo, oh, back in time, back in time. Oh, there's all types of fun things I've done here. I'll delete all of these images here, or these layers. You can just click on them, hit delete, delete. Okay. Now, um, back here, a lot of times this image is locked. And when it's locked, it's in, it's locked in its position. So just turn that lock off. We don't need that lock here. Okay. And then have, have a zero layer. Make a new uh, um, a mask for it. Okay. And then take our, our paintbrush, 100% strength, same thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint out black on top here. Let's see if this works. Yeah, this works. Okay, so 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 put black as your, your foreground, paintbrush, and then start painting. Now here, let me show you the reason. I'm going to take a small brush, just like I did before. Make a forehead, cut in. Accentuate the lips, kind of fun here, and then a chin, and then kind of cut back, okay? 
Now, again, make your brush bigger, display your bracket keys, and erase all this side. Now, you're going to see checkerboard. That's just showing that there's just nothing there now as I, as I do that. And of course, you can accentuate and make more of the, the face here and just erase that. Now, here's the cool thing. Uh, let, me go, let, me, let me finish this off before I tell you the cool thing. Because I'm erasing on the mask, I can paint back in the photo if I make mistakes or want to change the look of this. So make a smaller brush, kind of carefully cut in here, erase anyway, kind of back here, make a neck there. Okay. And then and the checkerboard's nice, so it shows there's just nothing there. In Photoshop, that's their way of showing it. There's nothing there. Okay. So that's already looking pretty funky. Um, now to, to really look at it complete, we can go to layer, flatten image, and it kind of gives it uh, our look. Now you can see where I I've left some spaces here, so I can go in with the paintbrush and just paint those out and things. But but here here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna go back in time here to go back where I had before I flattened it. See the bracket. See or sorry. See the uh, the masking. So if I want to paint back in, I just reverse the colors. Okay, so here it is is. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna go to my paintbrush there beyond the mask. Okay. Now I can erase some more. Okay. But if I flip this to white right here, just flip it to white on top, I can paint back in her face. Make more of a nose up here maybe, get more of the lips that I want. Because I'm actually painting on this mask, see I'm making this here. Isn't that neat? So I can paint back in and then I can flip this and then paint back on the mask again and take out some as well. So if I want to kind of make more of a hairline here or a forehead and then a nose and lips. Pretty wild looking, huh? Just accentuate that. And then when, you're, when you feel like you're done and you've got it all erased good in here, then just go to layer, flatten image, and we've got that same kind of fun look. Now again, if you get this point and you want to touch it up a little bit, just take the paintbrush, put white on top, make a smaller brush with your bracket keys, and now we're, we're, we're really painting right on it, but we can kind of touch up and get exactly what we want here. Isn't that wild looking? Crazy. Oh well, have fun making a sideways silhouette forward artistic look.